Days of Dorcas is about photography, but not just photographers, uh, female photographers in Nigeria. It's going to extend on to the rest of Africa as well. Photography is a language. It's a very important language in now times. The facilitators, they were really awesome, very critical, and I love that about them. about the moment up until your registration what were you thinking how were you feeling why did you register okay I registered because I felt the opportunity was going to be a big one and number the main reason when I saw female photographers I was like this is just this is this is different this is great I mean this is where the spotlight is just on the females and then photographers for that matter and then I fell in the category so I'm like why not and then from then till now it has been beautiful it has been a wonderful experience we've been learning we've been learning each and every single day and I know the learning process continues but this has just been an experience on its own and I'm so happy and grateful to be here My name is I'm a visual storyteller, a central photographer, and that was the type of photography I was doing before I got here, and I'm going to continue with that. This is the story, it's um, the visitor, the idea is the visitor. The visitor represents the how it works amongst us, but we're never really conscious about it. The thing is, everyone will die, but what we do while we are here, it not really matters. My name is Favor Ogundimu and I'm the first runner up of the Days of Dockers workshop and competition. Congratulations. Thank you. How are you feeling? Um, great. <laughs> Awkward, you, but great. You're smiling so hard, like, yes, <laughs> I won it. Awesome. So talk me through the moments, you know, up until your registration. What were you thinking? How were you feeling? Why did you do it? Okay, first of all, I, it started with um, some of my friends. They sent me um, a link. They actually, like, people were sending me pictures of the events. I didn't even see it on my own self because there's, there's bad network in my school. So I didn't see it at all. Like, they just, I, just, I just kept seeing pictures, people telling me, try it, try it. And I was like, I don't really want to because I don't think my kind of work, people will like it and all. But then I just decided to apply. And the pictures I even initially sent, they were more documentary-like because I was like, maybe that's what people usually like, so let me just... You, yeah, but those pictures were really personal to me, even if they were documentary, because I knew the story I was trying to convey through those images. And I think they saw that, and then I was picked. 16-year-old Cynthia, which you know is like the literal principle of the phrase, punching above one's weight. Started by a local coach, she started boxing at the age of 12. To succeed, she had to surmount patriarchy and gender stereotypes in her sport. As well as rise through the challenge of economic hardship to continue boxing, for every training session she's able to turn out to, Cynthia is punching a bold weight. A bold weight of jazz from her peers. In the same way, all of us are punching a bold weight. Weight imposed by long standing belief systems, weight imposed by undemocratic democracies, and the weight of external expectations. What just happened to you right now? Um, I just found out that I won the Days of Darkest competition for female photographers, and it's exciting. Exciting? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to hold it in, but it's exciting. It is. It's exciting. What was the workshop like? Uh, it was it was a learning curve. It was ex it was a fantastic experience for me and the rest of the girls. Like we were just looking at it like it was six days of intense work and. Um, we learned a lot, how to tell stories, and 
I mean, it's not everyone left here with something, and uh, there's nothing better than that. Um, can you tell us how it's been working with these girls so far? Okay, it's been amazing. Uh, we've been with them for the last week. Um, first of all, we started with a portfolio review, which was to see where they are as artists, and then we began the workshops. And then subsequently afterward, we had the practicals, you know, where each uh, photographer chose their style. So we had the studio photographers and those that actually are more documentary based. Uh, and each person grew in the course of the week as well. And we were amazed to see their presentation today because they've actually, I mean, it was amazing to see what they've been able to achieve within the uh, last one week. So it's been really a great experience. We've learned a great deal from them as well. You know, the fact that, you know, you can actually um, do so much, especially within a short period of time. Big congratulations to the winner and the first runner-up for putting so much work into achieving this great feat. And also a big thank you to GT Bank's Art 635 initiative, which has, in collaboration with the Days of Dorcas competition, launched a young female photographer into the world to tell amazing stories with her photography.